Hello friends, today we will see one of the optimization technique called spark memory management. Okay, let's see uh, during spark submit, we are going to declare number of executors, executor codes, right? So basically how that calculation can be done, we are going to see because this is one of the most important factor when it turns to spark optimize. This is one of the optimization technique. So let's see based on the cl cluster configuration how are we going to calculate that let's take some sample configuration cluster configuration so in a cluster i have 10 nodes and 16 cores per node and let's say 64 GB RAM per node okay so this is the configuration which I had now I would like to calculate the number of executors and the number of codes okay let's see how can we how to calculate this so I am considering executor codes five okay let's give small letter because this is good for hdfs three foot This is good for HDFS throughput. Okay, now we will leave. So, how many cores we have? 16 cores we have per node. Okay, out of 16, we will leave one core per node. Okay, core per node due to to or and demons so there are demons right which will run in the background so for those demons requires at least a minimum of one core so number of codes available per node equal to note how many we mentioned here right 16 16 course we have per node okay so though we are planning to leave one demand for the background back running demands so what is the left over 15 okay so total available course In the cluster how much so 15 into 10 okay how much 150 so here course is 16 right we left one for demand so 15 15 into number of nodes how many 10 so 15 into 10 equal to total we have 150 cores in the cluster now we'll see number of available executors so how to calculate the number of available executors means total cores divided by number of cores per executors okay so total course how much we got it 150 and what we thought a number of course per executor course it's good for five five is good okay so what is the remainder 30 okay okay now we see number of available executors okay 
so total course divided by number of course per executor so the remainder is 30 now again we will leave one executor for application master application or application minus okay now number of executors so now if we leave one executor for application manager then it will be 29 okay now we'll calculate number of executors per node Per node. Okay. So how can I calculate number of executors per node? Now number of available executors how much we have calculated 30 divided by number of nodes is 10. So what is the remainder? 3. Okay. Number of execute available executor is 30, number of nodes 10. So divided by modulus equal to 3. Okay now memory per executor we will calculate memory per executor so how much what is the memory that we had it 64 gb ram per node right now 64 divided by number of executors per node okay how much we will get it 21 okay now so now we got number of executors per node and uh, executor memory okay now there is a jvm half wave memory okay overhead memory you can call it as counting of wave overhead so this is seven percent okay so half if overhead is seven percent so now we will calculate 21 gb of seven percent okay now 21 into 7 divided by 100 how much we can get it nearly 3 gb okay okay so now Executor memory how much uh, twenty one minus three equal to eighteen CV. Okay, we got twenty one right. So in this seven percent we are leaving for the half if overhead. So 7% in the sense 3 GB. So then if you minus 21 minus 3 then 18 GB. So this is how we have to calculate. So finally how many number of executors we got it? 29 number of number of executors we got 29 right okay execute number executor memory so executor memory how much we got 18 GB okay executor codes So, executor scores how much? 5. Driver memory. Driver memory basically by default 1 GB. So, we will tune as per the size of the data. So, let's say I can declare for time being 2. Okay. So, this is how we will calculate the number of cores and the number of executors guys 
so this is one of the most important optimization technique it will be helpful during the spark submission okay so uh, that's all for today's guys so if you really like this tutorial please do subscribe and do like it and to share it okay that's all guys that's it for today